Hey, what's up everyone, Zulfika here and welcome again to the Fan channel and in this video, I'll be unboxing the recently launched earbuds by Realme Malaysia It's the Realme Buds Q Alright guys, let's have a look at the packaging itself At the front, we have the picture of the earbuds and at the both sides, we have the Realme logo uh, at the back, we have the specifications of the earbuds. It's a really straightforward looking box, but I do like the minimalist design of the packaging. So, this Realme earbuds supports the Realme app. So, let's open up and let's see what's inside the box. So as we open it up, there is another box. So they are a little fancy here. Okay, so firstly, we're going to see the charging case. It is placed nicely on top of this crater shaped looking box. So this earbuds come with three color variation, black, white and yellow. And in my hand, I have the black color. Of the plastic, so here, here it is. It's really nice looking. So let's put that aside for a bit and see what else can we find inside the other box here. So first, we will have the short mic USB cable. Some might complain it because nowadays most people use this Type C cable. So next, we have the two extra ear tips. And lastly, we have the user manual. And I think it is comes with the warranty card. It's a straightforward looking manual here. So yeah, yeah. So here's the warranty card here. So yeah, we're done with these items. So, so yeah, here are the items that we will get from inside the box. So now let's have a look at the charging case here. The first impression, it's really small and light. It's logo on top. At the back there, we have the USB port. And so at the front we have the LED light indicator so as we open the lid it is secured with magnets so, so the earbuds also secured by magnets nicely done the design here is really really cool nice looking there so let's take a close look at the earbuds so at the center there, there's the touch touch sensor there. So let's take off the plastic here. So we're we're gonna see the Realme logo at the touch sensor area. At the at the bottom of the touch sensor area we have the microphone. Turn it around, we have the there's the connector to charge the earbuds. There's two holes there from the manual it says it, it is as a, as a what they say as a tuning for tuning purposes. So looking at the ear tips there's like a gray, it's a grayish gray color, and from the inside, there's a yellow color, which is the official color for the Realme. Overall, it's it's a it's a really cool design, very slick design. Plus, it is very small and very light.
overall the for the, the charging case also is very light it's made of plastic yeah overall it's, it, it is good in hand I think it may be slipped easily because of the very slick design so let's now let's connect them with my phone here we are so I have the realme c2 here a really standard realme phone so connecting it is really easy so we need have we need to touch the about five seconds on both earbuds so that it is in pairing mode and the our our phone will detect it as the realme buds q so we just connect it quite easily yeah. We are, we're connected. So we can also rename the device. So after we pair up the, the Realme Buds Q here, so it, it is instant connection. So we just take off take out the earbuds from the charging charging case and it will automatically connect it with our phone and it is ready to use all right now let's try to wear them it is very it's, it is really small and, and light, it fits in nicely and the earbuds, I think it's really comfortable, it won't came off that easily. So let's, now now I'm testing the touch control just there, double tap is to play pause, triple tap is for Next track and long press for 2 seconds on both earbuds are for entering the gaming mode. But we can also install the Realme Link app to modify the touch settings. So testing on the sound quality, they sounded great, loud and volume, clarity is there. But I think in my opinion the bass is just average. I would say it is just alright based on its price point. And of course I will need to have a quick comparison. So I, I need so I tested with the Metro Wireless Airbuds or the Air Dots. And between these two earbuds, I can say that these two earbuds sound similarly the same. But from my perspective, the Realme Buds Q just lacks in a little bit of bass. Alright guys, here are the summarized specification and features of the Realme Buds Q. Alright guys, my final thought on this product, Realme is considered as new on making earbuds. They only have a few earbuds model and this latest model is considered as a budget version. And they sounded great, the battery life is good, it has a stable connection, the touch control is very responsive and plus it has a gaming mode which I find it pretty useful but although I would still prefer using a white earphone for gaming because I couldn't stand a single lag. Do I recommend this product if you guys haven't owned any earbuds and on a tight budget? I do recommend this product and if you guys have owned other earbuds like AirDots and other similar price tag as the Realme Buds Q, I suggest you just keep this one. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and i see you guys in the next video.